Today we'll take a look at the Raptor Maps dashboard. To access the dashboard, click on Dashboard from the top of the main reports page. You can use the dashboard to monitor the history of site inspections, assess the impact of anomalies on all sites, or compare the aggregate results of your inspections against the complete Raptor Maps data set. From the Portfolio Overview page, you can click on any recent inspection to access the associated report. Use the list of sites with the most time since last inspection to assist you in prioritizing upcoming inspections. Access the three views of effects of anomalies on all sites by clicking on the gray button. Affected power in kilowatts breaks down power loss by anomaly type and kilowatts affected power. This enables you to understand which anomaly types are most associated with your power loss. Affected modules shows the count of affected modules for all of your sites by anomaly type. This is helpful for high level maintenance planning. The anomaly count view shows the number of anomalies for all sites by anomaly type. This is another view to assist with maintenance plans. In addition, the portfolio overview provides a comparison of the impacts of anomalies on your portfolio against the complete Raptor Maps dataset. This is in the benchmarking section. Raptor Maps anonymizes data across six continents to pull together benchmarking information on each anomaly type and then compares this against the inspections in your portfolio. This enables you to determine if your anomaly rate is higher or lower than average. Percentage of power affected by anomaly compares the portion of your portfolio's total peak power potential impacted by specific anomaly types and compares it against all data in the Raptor Maps data set. Percentage of affected modules by manufacturer compares the portion of your portfolio's total peak power potential impacted by specific module types and compares it against all data in the Raptor Maps data set. Graphs for this benchmark include error bars. An error bar represents the confidence in the bar values. A larger error bar indicates less confidence in the shown value, while a smaller error bar shows is indicative of more confidence in the value. The error is calculated using a standard binomial distribution.